Uh, the Great Optimist race just gets bigger and bigger every year. So stoked to see the variety of people pulling in. Some can sail, many can't sail, but they give it horns. And also the charities they're supporting. Obviously, it's all under the Little Optimist Trust. So the spread of charities that were supported today is absolutely amazing. I am so nervous, but I'm doing it for a very good cause. My cause is I'm a double lamp transplant recipient. I'm sailing the Sail Leisure yacht, and it's for the Sea Change Project, Little Optimus, and we're going for gold, baby. <laughs> Past medical survivors race against big captains of industry and crazy celebrities. All racing, all smiling, all inspiring and all showing kids that no matter your obstacles in life, if you have optimism and heart, you can overcome anything. Yeah, lucky to come away with a win again. I think it was tough for everyone out there. Listen, there wasn't much wind, eh? so I think a, a sailboat needs wind. <laughs> and less so, yes. Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> wait, for sure. During the three days of the boat show, we ran a sailing academy that offered sailing therapy to sick and marginalized kids, getting them out of hospitals, orphanages, and disadvantaged areas, teaching them a skill, finding them a passion, and offering them hope. All about imparting skills to, to youth at risk through sailing through the Little Optimus initiative of Greg Bertish. I think it's an amazing initiative and Uncle Greg is doing an amazing job. It kind of felt like we got a sense of what it is that the Little Optimus delivers to those kids because you forget everything else. All you care about is where's this boat going, where is the wind coming from, what am I supposed to be doing next. Now I think it's awesome what Greg's doing and um, everyone else that's involved giving them uh, some some joy and you know hope. Yeah, so I think it's pretty awesome. The Great Optimus Race does, does so much for so many people and it's a privilege to be able to get into that boat and, and race alongside friends and, and family and for such an awesome cause. So I'm um, just grateful to be here today and very lucky to have a win. Um, but yeah, awesome, awesome experience. So today was absolutely amazing. The race was won by Caleb Swanepoel, who's an amputee. He won it last year. Such an inspiration for kids, such an inspiration for adults. We had all the patients, all the, the hospital patients, we had the survivors, stroke patients, all sailing and, and just enjoying a beautiful day on the water. The opportunities that water can bring to a kid's life, the joy and the happiness. So if we could scale activities like this, sailing, swimming, surfing, it would be absolutely brilliant. 